imparts understanding to the simple. So we are trying to unfold the word of God, learn the word of God. Let us pray that uh, this time of our reflection, this time of our study, let it give light in our life. Let it give understanding in our life. So let us repeat this word of God and pray. The unfolding of your words, words gives light. Gives light. The unfolding of your words. The unfolding of your words gives light. Gives light. It imparts understanding to the simple. It imparts understanding to the simple. It imparts understanding to the simple. Coming and visiting Abraham. 
Abraham, it is a symbolism of God's abundance of mercy showered upon the human kind. It was a final attempt of the angel of the Lord, the messengers of the Lord to save or rescue the people of Sodom and Gomorrah. So this is what, this is how we came up to the conclusion of the chapter of uh, 18. That uh, after seeing all this, the three men, they were walking away and Abraham came back to his tent. Abraham came back to his tent. So this is what we found in the chapter 18 of Genesis. Hallelujah. 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 So now we are entering into chapter 19. According to what these messengers have said, these messengers of God or the angels of God, they are going to Sodom and Gomorrah. So let us start reading a few verses as an introductory uh, thing to the chapter 19. The two angels came to Sodom in the evening. So listen to this word of God very carefully. The two angels came to Sodom in the evening. And Lot was sitting in the gateway of Sodom. Hallelujah. 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 So this word of God is giving us the background of Lot. So the word of God says that in the evening, these two people were walking towards the city called Sodom. And where was Lot sitting? At the gateway. Do you think that Lot was the security man there? Then why should he sit uh, at the gateway? Why should he sit at the gateway in the evening? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So my dear sisters and brothers, Lot sitting at the gateway in the evening means he was in an elevated position. We can say that he became one of the elders of the community. Usually during the evening time, the elders of the community, they sit at the gateway in order to give judgments to the people of those land. Imagine that if a person is having any kind of revenge, aggression towards anyone else, all the matters are settled at the gateway. And the matters are settled by the chief elders. We say, we can say that the, 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 the chief of the clan or the tribe, something like that. So this man, Lot, became one of the elders of the land of Sodom. He became one of the elders of the land of Sodom. And that is the reason why in the evening, at gateway, this Lot was sitting. Hallelujah. 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 So the duty of those people sitting at the gateway is to give justice to the parties. Sometimes there can be uh, clashes between two groups. There can be clashes between two persons. It depends. And where they come for settlement is at the gateway. And the duty of the judges, the judges, those sitting and elders, is to give justice to them. And because of this reason, Loth is a victim. Don't think that Loth was a security man or Loth was a watchman sitting there at the table. Hallelujah. 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 So when we understand that Loth became an elder there, remember, he chose this. Sodom and Gomorrah, not only reaching there, now he became a respectable person in that area. That is one part. When we think that he became a respectable and he became a, he, came, he got an elevated position in the society, we should also understand that he became the partaker of the culture of that land. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Imagine that I am just giving you an imagine, a, a example like this. Imagine there is a particular plant, there 
lot of sins are there. And one person going from another land to live in this particular land, if he can adapt to the situation, only then this person will be acceptable. This person will be given respect to the position of a judge. Hallelujah. Imagine when Abraham and Loth, they were living together and Loth, uh, he, he chose the place for Sodom and Gomorrah. He reached there, he started living according to the people, according to the uh, likes and dislikes of the people and slowly, slowly he became a respectable man, that is in the one side. On the other side, why he was given a valued position in the city of Sodom and Gomorrah because he started partaking in the sins or he started partaking in the culture, he started partaking in the evil ways of the people of Sodom and Hallelujah. 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 And when we continue reading, we find that was the gateway of Sodom. Lot saw them and he rose to meet them and bounded and bowed down with his face to the ground. Do you find anything similar to that of Abraham here? What do you find anything something similar to that of Abraham? Abraham also when he saw the guest coming, he went, he rose, he went and bowed down to the ground and received him. So remember that if Lot was saved from the great disaster of Sodom and Gomorrah, there are two reasons. The Bible is teaching two reasons. The first reason for uh, that supported Lot in his life is there was a person to intercede for Lot. Hallelujah. So this is one of the major reflection in this chapter. A person to intercede. So last day uh, when we were speaking about chapter 18, I spoke about the value and the need of intercessory prayers and how intercessory prayers work the life in the life, work in the life of others and say already I said. So now chapter 19 is giving us more clarification and more reflection on the same topic saying that first reason why this load was saved because there was a person to intercede for the second reason why load was saved was he was a hospitable man he had some good qualities like that of Abraham he had some good qualities like that of Abraham. Not that he was a judge, not that he was a respectable person in the Soda and Gomorrah, but rather he had good character, good behavior in his life. So these are the two reasons the scripture telling us that why he was saved. First reason the scripture says there was a person to intercede for him. The second reason in his character, in his behavior, he was a good man. Hallelujah. 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 If you have a person to pray for, if you have a person to pray for, if you have a, a person to intercede for your life, remember that you, you or your soul will not go to eternal damnation. This is a truth. Imagine that if there is a person who is praying for you, you and your soul will not go for eternal damnation. Hallelujah. 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 So the second thing what I said was about in life we should have mercy, compassion and hospitality. These qualities will help us. These qualities will help us to attain salvation in our life. These qualities will attain, help us to have the saving power of God being experienced in our life. Hallelujah. 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 So for that matter, about the second thing about hospitality, mercy, 
compassion. The book of Tobit is teaching us wonderfully on these topics. When we come to the book of Tobit, we will read it uh, elaborately. But now, for the only for the purpose of a reference, how the book of Tobit is teaching us about mercy, compassion, and how to be charitable in life. We let us read the chapter four, verses six onwards. Chapter four, verse six onwards. Chapter four of the book of Tobit is speaking about the. Tobit is giving his son Tobias instruction. A father is giving instruction to uh, his son. Hallelujah. 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 So now let us read from six onwards, maybe till eight. For those who act in accordance with the truth will prosper in all their activities. So father Tobit is giving instruction to Tobias saying first thing always act in truth act in truth to all those who practice righteousness give alms from your possessions and do not let your eye begrudge the gift when you make it speaking about alms giving speaking about alms giving helping others being charitable in our life, being righteous in our life. And again we continue, do not your face away, do not turn your face away from anyone who is poor. And the face of God will not be turned away from you. This is an important teaching. This is an important teaching that the book of Tobit is giving us. Do not turn away your face from poor. If you do not turn away your face, God will not turn his face from us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then again, eight. If we have many possessions, this is a clear teaching. If you have many possessions, make your gift from them in proportion. Make them in make them in proportion. If few do not be afraid to give according to the little you have. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So here the word of God is teaching us mainly about four things. First one is about the truth. Second thing about righteousness. Act always in truth. Be always in righteousness. The third one is speaking about the do not turn away your face from the poor. And the fourth one, the word of God speaking as about be generous when God gives you. Very clear. The word of God is very crystal clear here saying that if you have many possessions, if you have many possessions, make when you help others, make a proportion accordingly. If you have a few, don't be worried. If you have few, don't be worried. Give only according to what you have. Hallelujah. 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 And when you read the book of uh, this Tobit, you will understand that uh, many dangers are taken away or removed from our life by the charitable activities that we are doing. Many dangers, disasters of our life are taken away by the charitable activities that we are doing. Hallelujah. 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 So when we continue reading the book of Tobit, we will understand more about the last judgment, the days of the last days, and speaking about the eschatological last days, where how can you how can you yourself save from the eternal damnation? These are the four things. Truth, try to always try to act in truth, righteousness, and do not turn your face away from the poor. And when you give, when you are charitable, whatever you have, from that proportion, you can make your charitable activity. Hallelujah. 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 So my dear sisters and brothers, these are the two things that saved Lot in the great disaster. 
The first one I said, there was a person to intercede for both, it was Abraham. The second one, some good qualities that he had in his life. Though Lot started living in the land of Sodom and Gomorrah, though Lot started living in the land of Sodom and Gomorrah, he started to live according to the culture, tradition or sinful activities, uh, whatever may be, but he had some good uh, behavior, he had some good um, nature in his life. That two things saved them from the damnation of uh, Sodom and Gomorrah. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So now let us continue reading. So these people, the two angels, reached Sodom and Gomorrah in the evening. At evening, he was uh, sitting at the gateway because he was an elder. And they are going to the house of Lot to stay that night. So we read from verse 3, verse 2. He said, Please, my lords, turn aside to your servant's house and spend the night and wash your feet, then you can rise early and go on the way. Then I said, No, we will spend the night in the square. But he urged them strongly, so they turned aside to him and entered his house and he made them a feast and baked unleavened bread and they ate. But, but before they lay down, the men of the city, the men of Sodom, both young and old, all the people to the last man surrounded the house. Why I wanted to read the verses 2 and 3? Because you will find something resembling to Abraham. He said, uh, as Abraham said, they know uh, is going, calling them to the house and he is making a feast and uh, he wanted to give them the maximum hospitality to these angels. So this is what we find in the life of Abraham also. Now, verse 4. Verse 4 is a kind of a shock when we read. We read like this. But before they lay down, that means they came, it was in the evening, they came into the house, they ate. Before they lay down, that means before the night, the men of the city, remember, the men of the city, the men of Sodom, it is correctly written, the men of the city, the men of Sodom, both young and old, all of them to the last man, surrounded by the house. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So when, uh, when I was speaking about the chapter 18, I spoke that there is an English term called Sodomy, S-O-D-O-M-Y means a person who is finding pleasure, a person who is finding pleasure in homosexuality and also in animals, something like that. So this is the meaning of the term Sodom. See, the men of the city, the men of Sodom, old and young, all men, they came, they surrounded the house of <coughs> Hallelujah. 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 There are four sins that are, that are really uh, making us, giving us a lot of trouble in our life. There are, that are giving trouble in our life. That four sins are written in the Catechism of the Catholic Church, number 1868. So I was, I was talking to you about the sins that cry out for a kind of a revenge. Do you remember about that? I said that few sins that are starting from one person, ending up in another person, and these sins cry out. Do you remember? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. So the catechism of the Catholic Church, the catechism of the Catholic Church is speaking and teaching us about the four types of sins, four types of sins that will always disturb in our life. The first one is deliberate mother. So uh, you can take down the number of the catechism of the Catholic Church and you can read it if you have the book. Otherwise, it will be another day you will read it here. Deliberate mother. The number we will find it 1867. The number is 1867. First one is deliberate mother. Second one is homosexuality. Homosexuality. The third one is all about persecuting an orphan or a widow or the poor of Yahweh. Persecuting an orphan or widow. The fourth one is refusing to give remuneration. Refusing to give remuneration for the work done. There are people who after work they will not pay the employee. So that is one of the sins that will trouble us in our life. Hallelujah. 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 So for all of these, for all of these, when you read this uh, Catechism of the Catholic Church 1867, you will find the biblical references. You will find in the book of Genesis, I said the deliberate murder of uh, uh, Abel done by Cain. Again, when you read in the book of, in the letter of St. James, you will find the book of Exodus, you will find the references for what I have already said. The four sins that are disturbing in our life or the four sins that, uh, that will cause a lot of uh, trouble in our life. So if anything is there uh, in our life, really we need to do some kind of penances and also some charitable activities in order to uh, we get rid of such the bondage of that sin. Hallelujah. 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 And why this homosexuality becomes a sin in this category? Why homosexuality becomes sin in this category of that troubles us? Because God has given us an order. God has given us an order. And that order is to live as a husband and wife. It is not to live in communion with the same sex. It is not in communion with the same sex. The moment we negate the word of God, the moment we negate the order that is given by God, we are standing as a contradiction to the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 So it is in this way the, the idea or the way of living together, the idea or way of living